Hey everybody, I have a sandwich and we're playing the Dark Eye. I don't think they're in the mood for me. They'll burn. Nuri! Garon, your humans are mad at me. I'm afraid that they'll do me harm. What did you do? I, I got bored, so I took a walk. I wanted to see a town. In the big courtyard, all the animals had been caged. I felt so sorry for them. So you opened the cages? Yes. Then I stumbled and there was a terrible noise. Why didn't you stay in the I didn't want to do any harm. How did you get up there anyway? I can't remember. I was scared of your humans, but now I can't get down. Those are not my... At least it's a moment. What's written? The print. Yeah. I thought you'd finally get to read it. I can't rip it off. I need a hand. Well, you've got one. Bam. Now why This is Damn Why do you just have it <laughs> He's got a door in Your his pocket fairy is in danger night hair. Oh, it's you again. A mob has amassed. They want to burn her like a witch. Go and help her. What did the fairy do? She ran off and set all the animals free. All hell broke loose. <laughs> they almost caught your friend. Why do they want to burn Nuri like a common witch? That came up when she fell into the booth with the clay bowls. She raised an awful ruckus, and when everybody was looking in her direction, she... she has the ability to repair things with magic? Yeah, and a stake can be set up in no time. I have to rescue her. Why don't you... I am a rage. Giving smart replies and making sinister threats that... You buggers are nothing but bad luck. Now that's helpful. Why don't you get with it and get her down? I'll come up. How? Oh, oh, okay, I was gonna say. Can you fix this knife with your magic? Sure. Do I have to throw it to you or something? That's not necessary. It really is fixed. Thank you. Will you rescue me now? I'm on it. Shenanigans. Very well. First the rope, then the stake. No. Wait a minute. The other way around. Otherwise the barrels will crush me down there. I don't understand. Wouldn't that happen anyway? I need some firm. Oh, okay. That's what he meant. I was gonna say if he cuts it at the bottom end, it's gonna crush him. There's no way the fairy. There's no way the fairy can climb up. Here you go. But the fairy is. That won't. Hmm. Please get. Okay. <clears throat> it's a start, though. A 
I have to do that. Okay. Geron, they've begun to throw stones. This way. Nuri, come now. What happened here? No time. Is he dead? Don't think about him. We he wanted you to die, and if we stay here, he'll get his wish. What? How do you know that? Before he died, he asked me to kill you. But I won't do that. I will protect you. You can come out now. The mob has calmed down. That was the gong for the sixth hour of evening. I was supposed to be a hero by now. A hero? The king asked me to get rid of a plague of crows in the castle. I would have shown them all. Get rid of a plague of crows? I prefer saviors of fairies. I can never go back. That's for the best anyway. The creatures who killed your mentor would find you immediately. How come you know so much? I have my reasons, Nighthair. Good thing those creatures didn't find you before me. Nighthair? Geron, what are we going to do now? We'll travel to the Red Lake in the Blood Barrier. Into Orkland. Into Orkland? Uh, I hope you know what you're doing. Gwynling said something about a fairy scholar. He will know about, uh, well, about you, Nuri. He'll help you. Perhaps he can show me how to use magic again, without any pain. Yes, I'm sure he can. What do you think, Raven? Hmm, it's a possibility. The scholar mustn't send me back to my home, though. I'll never go back there. Come on, I want to be as far away from this place as possible when the sun goes down. Poor boy. He's taking desperation for determination. I trust him. You know that his mentor told him to kill you. I know, but he won't do it. He'll take me to safety and to... Ah, <sighs> Geron, wait. Don't worry, Raven. He's not going to do anything foolish. I hope you're right, my child. He's just going to do a lot of adventure game errands. <clears throat> Okay, hello. Okay. For the first time in his life, Geron was leaving home. He didn't know exactly where the Red Lake was, or whether he would be able to find the fairy scholar there, or how he might be able to help him. So he just followed the road towards the north. How could he have known where this journey would take him? Nuri had left all her sorrows behind. Finally, she was free. And as soon as they found the fairy scholar, she would even be able to command magic again. Then she would put a rainbow bird in every tree, and would paint a happy face on Geron. I'm not so sure this is going to end super happy. <laughs> it's a game called The Dark Eye. Meanwhile, Geron was haunted by the voice from his dreams, and its horrific prophecy filled his heart with doubt. the raven could be the seer remember those words if that turns out to be true why did you have to get involved with the wraithling king king Ephedan is not a wraithling it's just the name of his family but why does everybody believe that you bring bad luck i don't bring bad luck 
Come, perhaps that old woman over there knows the way to the fairy scholar. She can take us there in her wagon. Wait, let me do the talking. You're very talented with the lute. Why, thank you. It's the tune for a loved one. A loved one? Hmm. But tell me, please, who are you? And why are you tiptoeing around my camp? We come from Andergast, and we're traveling north to the Blood Barrier. This is Nuri, and I am Geron. The Blood Barrier? What is your business there? My mentor died, and I want to carry out his last wish. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't lose sight of his wish. Greetings, Raven. What dealings does the Raven have with you? You bringer of bad luck, Boron's envoy, you and your ilk. You have taken my loved one from me. Go away! Great job. Thank you, Raven. Stay away from the messengers of Boron. And who are you? Oh, yes. I am Isida, the Carney Bride. But I'm a widow now. What happened to your husband? Oh, my dear Darian. He was a magnificent acrobat. Uh -oh. I used to play the lute and sing while what he did was he do performing. In his act? Our act didn't earn as much of a living anymore. So he had the high rope set up higher than ever before. Nope. Nope. I thought that'll get you. You mean... There were no last words. And no last wish I could foster in my heart. That... Uh, I know how you... Never mind. Where are you headed? I'm on my way to Andergast. You might know that the Queen of Nostria is eagerly awaited. I want to perform my arts at the town fair there. But now I have a broken wheel on my trailer. And I am stuck. Suppose I fix the wheel for you. Good luck with that. It's all splintered. We'd be much faster if we use the carny, but... You'd better avoid Andergast, Isida. How do you reckon? All of Andergast is full of crows. They're hassling the citizens and no one can do anything about them. Hmm. That sounds adventurous. The town fair has been cancelled. So, it would be useless for me to go there. I guess you've told the truth so far, but I'm still not completely convinced. The Raven. He came from the direction of Andergast. Perhaps he's a bad omen. Hmm? I don't want to have anything to do with this messenger of... Bad luck. I guess I'd better turn round. But my problem remains. As long as the wheel is broken, I'm stuck here. Suppose I fix. Good luck. You can come back if. <laughs> Alright, let's fix this wheel. Well, let's talk to her. Maybe she can fix it. She can repair things. Take a little rest. How long? I don't know. I. I hope everything will turn out all right. Don't you worry. I don't trust this raven worth a farthing. I'm not talking about the raven. I'm talking about the birdman. He wears a colorful dress of plumes and is wrapped in stardust. And when he plays the flutes, our hearts break from the yearning for distant places. It's the song of freedom, Garen. Birdman? You mean Arvis, the patron god of adventurers? Wherever we go, he'll watch over us. Why do you trust the raven? He just wants to help us. He doesn't have a reason to do that. And he keeps insulting me. You're not making it easy to be nice to you. He is a good bird. And you, Geron, will have to learn to trust someone. I am a bird catcher. What if the birdman doesn't watch over us? Stop it. I'm going to count the stars now. One, two... By the gods. You should try for yourself. There. You forgot one. <laughs> I like it much better like that. Aren't you tired too? Not one bit. So you can fix things with a spell, yes? It's not good when things are broken. But that's all I can do. 
Bigger spells drain too much energy from me when I'm not in the fairyland. I'd perish like a small, insignificant little flame. But repairing things is definitely an option. Yes, that's easy. It's similar to your breaking talent, but instead of imagining things smashed apart, you have to imagine the shards reassembling. Just tell me what you want me to fix, but all the components have to be present. So if a jug is broken into seven shards, you'd have to have all seven pieces. And then you'd have to say, I wish. The I wish part is very important. You didn't have to do that earlier. Alright, well, let's get these pieces. Didn't you want to explore the surroundings, Raven? It's late at night. At least you could flutter around somewhere else for a change. You scared that old woman to death. If that's what you want, I'm used to ingratitude. It's nice that nobody's accusing me. Luckily, the act. Don't go in there. Gwynling and I used to catch dragonflies on the bank slopes of Andra. He then proceeded to skewer them. Just a moment. There's something lying there. Aha. Now maybe new... So you can fix things with a spell. Yes, that's easy. But all the components... Yes. Is there not enough? Good. And now? Now me. So you- Yes, but all the compo- They are. Well, maybe I can just do it on the axle. I have to fix the wheel for- Ow. Oh. Locked. A trailer. Can't get into. The hey! <laughs> the truncated unicorn doesn't like Garen. Unicorn? No worries. My Yimra is as stoic as an oak. Maybe if I talk, Yuri. Him, she'll do it. I'll have a. F <sighs> Oh, it's right here. All right. I... Hey! <laughs> really very funny. A nice whale. Oh. You... You can do magic? Not much anymore. Are you... A druid's daughter? No, I am Nuri Daranella Vandra. Do you command magic? Well, nothing like that. But I know a different kind of magic. Really? Magic of music! Darian and I were sometimes able to literally blind our audience. Watch out! Oh, such a beautiful bright light! But, do you always use this white powder for your magic? What powder? And it doesn't hurt you to summon light? Does the powder lessen your pain? I... I... really... Come, have a... I'm okay. I didn't hear it. Set that up. I hope I imagine... It holds wonderful. Hey, a jerk. The wheel is back on the axle. Would you agree to give us a ride for a while now? You there have fixed is. the wagon. And by Travia, here are the keys to the trail. I'll stay at the campfire a little while longer. He's kind of a prick. Let's go in. This was a nice day. Oh yeah, like hell it was. I won the oak leaf challenge.
What are we going to do next? We'll sleep. Look. This is the white powder the wrinkly woman used to summon the glistening white light. I saw her throwing it into the fire. Don't touch that. Who knows what it is? I'll sleep in the bed. You can have the rug. Uh. Ah! Huh? What? What was that? That... That came from outside. Uh-oh. No, no. Nobody was here. She is lying. Regrettable. He who speaks lies shall hold his tongue. Please, believe me. There's no one here besides me. Oh yes, they are here. She's trying to lead us up the garden path. She'll have to tell us where they are. Please, I can't tell you anything else. In that case, we can't leave her unscathed. Will you go away? Time flows fast in this world. Lives are shortened all the time. They are here. And we will find them. What's going on? Two strange figures are looking for us. They don't know where we are yet, but they're threatening Isida. Oh no. We must help her. I have to distract the creatures somehow, or chase them off. Let's get that powder. I'm not touching this. Alright, fair enough. The door stay. Who's that? Some made up characters. Maybe they'll help. The middle one looks like the king of the imps. They'd only slow me down. It's hollow. I hope the powder does what it... We might as well give up before we dis... If I go out now... Okay. Alright. She's trying to... She'll have... Please. In that case... Will you go... Time... Lie... They... Are She's regret. He who speak please. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. We heard all those lines. With the powder in the head, I can easily help, but I'll have to plug it first. Oh, well, we got this. I could seal the opening of Now nothing. Hurry. She's wait. They are. No. No. What? <laughs> what? They killed her, just like that. The creature is coming to the co- I have to get us out of here. What happened to Isida? She's all right. But- The creature's injured her. But- And then she ran off. They'll kill her. Ah! Geron! They killed her. Be with me. Oh, okay, I think there was nothing I could do to save her. It didn't work. Why didn't it? Well, make yourself useful for once. Alright, there's one. Out of reach. Still, the curtain. Oh, who am I kidding? The curtain. Oh, who am the curtain? Oh. Go hide behind. I'll distract. No.
There. Now, quickly. My arm is... Oh. Get Ron! I'm working as fast... I can do it, Nuri! Get Ron! I can do it! Off they go. Ooh. Now that's gonna hurt her though, isn't it? Was it not fate that drove him forth? The seer had sought them out. For the moment, they had been able to escape, but the creatures would never stop chasing them. Who could help them now? When the seer's harp sounds, Pendergast will perish, Gwenling said. And the fairy is the key. Geron had to find out more about these things. The fairy scholar was his only hope. He was right to let Nuri live. He was deeply convinced of that. Even his darkest dreams didn't reveal what woe this decision would soon befall his hometown. No, he left there, though. He doesn't but care about that. But would he have them. decided any differently had he known? I mean, they were jerks to him there. Are you really better now? Stop asking all the time. I'm, I've been in there for days. And those pale men stopped chasing us a while ago. All right, but we'll have to talk about your magic at some point. Look! A human! <sighs> what am I doing here? Futile, my... That's a dwarf's job. Hail Rondra, Sir Knight. Could you kindly tell us where we are? This is the Thash Mountain Range. Thash? So the blood barrier is not far off. It is but a short distance for a traveling knight. <laughs> for a farm boy and a maiden, it might prove quite a journey. I am no farmer. My maiden, you should seek protection from a proper man in these dangerous surroundings. What kind of a man? <laughs> yes, I am Bogomil Rathwing, knight of Andergast. At your service, fair maiden. <laughs> I am Nuri. This is my friend Geron. Nuri it is. What an extraordinary name. What business does a knight of Andergast have in the Thash Mountains? The king put me in charge of observing the orc tribes of the Blood Barrier. You have traveled through the Blood Barrier? Of course, but now I have to return to Andergast. There has been some unrest amongst the Tolokai. I have to report to King Efferdan immediately. Did you run into an explorer in the Blood Barrier, near a red lake? Huh. Red Lake? No, but if he came from the south, he must have been through here. We need some gear. A rope, blankets, provisions, everything that can be of use. Usually you can get those things from Graham. But the old pig head hides in his house and doesn't make a sound. I wouldn't trust that cutthroat anyway. Do you hear that, Graham? You are a cutthroat. Why does this Gram hide, anyway? The stupid ox won't admit that I am right. Right? Right. He refuses to pay the dues he owes me. What dues? He's responsible for the death of my horse. Gave him spoiled fodder, so he died miserably. I'm in a hurry, but by foot alone I won't get far. Why don't you buy this horse and carriage from us? What use is Akani's trailer to me? But you can leave me your hack. What are you asking for it? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Make up your mind about the price, then I'll tell you mine. Okay. Rondra be with you, Sir Knight. And with you. I'll figure something out. Wanberries. Their bitter blue juice has healing properties. How am I supposed...
strain. The owner of the yard doesn't seem to be satisfied with a simple pull rope. Strain. The owner... The link between the wheels is missing. It's also impossible to move the wheel. Someone has removed the crank handle. Raven, after being a good scout for us these last few days, Nuri has asked me to be nicer to you. What do you think? Will you be able to do that? I'll try. How about you? Hmm. We'll see. We were able to escape the Seer's creatures and have come a long way. Fate might smile on us favorably. Now we're back in charge. Well, well. Fate. The will of the gods. And you think you can bend the will of the gods to fit your agenda? No, but he who firmly believes in his goal... I'm sure that's what Isida thought too. She did nothing to deserve your sarcasm. All I'm trying to say is, no one ever escapes from Satinav's boundless gaze. Tell me more about Satinav. He's known by many names. The Thirteen Horned, the Irresistible, the Helmsman of the Barge of Time. He once was a mighty magician. The gods chained him to the Barge of Time because he tried to be the master over his own future. They say the gods don't like people to determine their own fate. Like Satinaf, we mortals are chained to time. In that case, I will have to break those chains. Have you seen if those demons are still following us? Didn't you shake them off? I think I did. I could be wrong, though. They are mighty creatures of the seer. I didn't see anyone following us on my scouting flights. Good. <clears throat> but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Don't start raining on my parade. I'll have a further look around. <laughs> Listen. How are you doing? I am sad that the cedar is gone. I hope these terrors will come to an end soon. That's why we're looking for the fairy scholar. To prevent worse things from happening. What kind of magic was that that you saved us with? That was the power of the moonlight. It is like fire to the sad fairies. It burns them. What do you mean, sad fairies? I felt that they once were just like me. And now they are sad? Sure. If fairies lose their command over magic, they don't die but get consumed by darkness instead. Then they're sad and will never be able to laugh again. To me, they seemed like mean fiends who have Isida's blood on their hands. They're sad nonetheless. Believe me. Your magic is fatal. Even for you, isn't it? You almost got burned by it yourself. I didn't want you to die. Thank you, Nuri. What are we going to do now? Why do those mean fairies serve the seer? He must have put a spell on them. <laughs> and please stop talking about this subject. We need some gear before we can move on. That's all right. Very well. Let's carry on later. Uh, I already clicked on that. Out of, out of reach. Nobody home. Graham, he just went into hiding. What am I supposed... Any other skill... When will we move? I don't have... Beside, without any proper gear. Okay. Now well, we can go in here. What? Okay. New items. Why not? Nuri's Queen of the Winds has once again defeated the King of the Imps and his wicked brother. Never again. And that's my fault. Maybe I really am a bad luck charm. Items. More items. I'll just take it all. Yeah, you will. I wish Nuri had never found this thing. At least the music has revived her spirits. Oh, I thought it was like a mystical object. It's just an instrument. Alright, uh, that's it for today. Uh... Grab a snack and we'll be back with the next episode of The Dark Eye, Chains of Satinov.